Welcome to another episode of On The Clock. You join us down here at Old Mill Fisheries. We are on the Oak Lake. As you can see, I've got my mate Mark with us again. It's a little bit unfair last time he cheated. So we're gonna have a fair match, 12 o'clock, and then we'll start. <laughs> I'm not living this down, am I? It's, no, it's not gonna happen, mate. Well, at yeah. least we know what time we're starting this time. So yeah. there's no confusion. There's a food lake here, food swims free. So we'll have a look, walk around, have a pick, get cracking. Yeah, right, we'll catch you in a bit. Hopefully this time you'll catch something. The Mark Squeaky <coughs> Barra. <laughs> So we've had a bit of a coin toss, um, I, I did get first pick and I've chose here which is a couple of pegs down from the corner, so we'll see what happens, the bivvy is going up now, I know it's nearly 12, it's about 5 to 12, but the weather does look like it's going to absolutely piss it down, so I want to be comfortable and dry. I'll get the bivvy up, get the bed out, then I can sit there, assess the situation, tie my rigs up, bags, etc., and then go from there. So we'll get this, we'll get this pen down. Ugh. Storm pole's on because it's windy. <laughs> right, so we're about ready to go. Uh, I've just lost the toss, so I'll get second choice to swim. But as luck would have it, I've just spotted one launch out at about 80 yards, so happy days indeed. Uh, weather's a bit choppy and it looks like it's going to rain, so I'm going to stick my bivvy up for the time being, get some mix sorted out and uh, hopefully catch some fish. It's gone 12, Mark's just flicked his rod out in uh, typical Mark fashion, he can't wait. So I'm just finishing off, I've just been fannying about this morning, just making sure everything's right. It's been quite difficult getting set up with this this headwind. So we're nearly there now, I'm just gonna, uh, I've just got a wafter on a multi-rig, just gonna get that out. I've just put, I don't know, about four bombs. Um, I've made a little bit of a mix up, I've just crushed loads of boilies and just, put liquids on just so it's all sticky and I can make some nice balls with it. I've also lost the lighter again. It seems to be a common thing every time we come here. Hold on. So I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna get my bags tied up. I've just wrapped up. Um, the rods are, the rods are at 15 and a half wraps, I think they are. So I'm gonna do, one on a PVA bag at 15 and a half wraps on the bait, another with a wafter on a multi-rig as a free offering, and then I'm going to send one at 20 wraps on another PVA bag, just a bit further, because the wind is pushing this way. Um, them boys reckon they have seen a few in the middle milling about, and I know no one's not actually fishing in the middle with the conditions being so difficult. So I'm going to try and ping one out there. I'm going to get these sorted, get these tied up. Lovely. Thank you. 
Right, so all we're going to be fishing is uh, just crumb boilie for this session. Uh, my main mix is just basically uh, two types of boilie crushed up. That's the Vitalac and the uh, Arctic Crab. Um, same, exactly the same for my bag mix as well. This is virtually the same mix. It's probably a little bit finer than the coarse mix that I'll be putting out. But other than that, we're just making them up into tiny little sticks. It's not mega long range of fishing out, but uh, because of the wind and stuff, we'll keep everything small and it'll be able to get out there a bit easier on. Uh, same with the bait as well. I'm going to uh, ease off the bait for the time being, just try and fish for the one that we've seen out there so far. If we get a bite, happy days, and then we'll put some food out. If not, we'll do it a bit later on. So without further ado, we'll get this one out and try a bag of brutes. Right, this one should be going smack on where I see that fish earlier on. It's basically just to the right of them dark trees on the horizon. Beautiful. Are you alright? Yeah, pal. Are we allowed to cast out yet? Yeah. Oh, that's all right, because we've got all three out. Yeah. <laughs> Put your mind, Sav. I've got to get an head start somehow, haven't I? Oh, well, you're, just, you're too kind to me, Adam. Are you going to get a kettle on, then? I've been summoned to, yes. Good Would luck. you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Where's your cup? You don't know, do you? No. <laughs> Somewhere. How's it open? All the way? All the way. Have you got friends? Me and our last mate. Ah, see. Got that for my birthday yesterday. Two of them. There's tea, sugar. Thing is, we have a tech away. Hang on, Tom. Just have a close up of this. No. What What are they? Well, they were from home. That's what they are. Looks like PG tips to me. There's a bit free in there. Yeah. What are going on today? I don't have many. <laughs> He's going home. Well, rods are out, all the important stuff done. Now it's time for the brews. Kettle's about boiled. The lads are thirsty. Wind's taking off. Better say some room in there for Adam's milk, can I? Shocking. Looks awful. So, just a quick update now. We're in as swims. Uh, we've got us rods out. I've opted to fish. I think it's 15 and a half wraps on two of them. I found a nice little bar where it, like a bowl. And I'm just in the bottom there. It's nice and clayy. I've put about you know, four spoms out. I've just, just made a contraption, crushed some boilies up, some liquids, and I've just made some little balls just, just for attra attraction as it's seeping down the water level. And I've also fired one 20 wraps, an extra five past, because we've seen a few show in the middle, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. So what have you done? Well, just like I say, you won the coin toss. Uh, just got back to my swim, and then I see one show at about 80 yards. So all I'm going to do is just pick on that fish. I'm not putting no bait out for now. I've just pinged three bags out there in the general zone. Yeah. Um, I did have a little feel around the margin, so I might have a little investigation because uh, the lads fishing said they noticed something around that yellow bush over there. Like, so. yeah. yeah, that's two of them that said that. Uh, yeah. Ideally, if this wind drops a bit, I want to go a, a little bit further out, but I want to be nice and accurate, so I've kept yeah. it 15 and a half. The wind's pushing in, so yeah, that's they'll it. come in. But I don't want to go crazy. We'll just play it by ear. No, just let them tell us what to do, mate. Yeah, I say we've we seen if we're in the middle there. That's all we can do. Up. So I'm going to get my thermals on and my trousers because it's windy <laughs> and cold. <laughs> Crackers. Oh, yeah. We'll keep you updated. All right, mate, I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to uh, sort my rods out again. I've had a little fish for that one that I see earlier, to, unsuccessfully, so while we've only got a couple of hours of light left and the wind's dying down a bit, I'm going to put a bit of bed 
and bait. Bit of bed of bit of bait. Bit of bait. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. I did have a run about an hour or so ago, um, lifted into nothing. I did think it was a trailer because Lado next door to me, a couple of doors down, a couple of minutes after, he also had a run as well, lifted yeah, into nothing. Yeah. Um, but the spot has been slicking up, so mm. I've not put a lot out. So I've just it's just crumb. So it's literally it's, it's just milling about in the in the layers just for a bit of attraction. So yeah, before it gets dark, we've done we've done well. It's mid November. So we've done well, um, but yeah, a few spawns of bait. I'm happy with where the rods are. Well, so we've only done three hours of fishing, really, haven't we? Yeah. So I say got set up. Well, probably after twelve, really. So all we can do. We've seen a few fish in the middle. We had a little go for them. We haven't caught one yet, so we we'll get sorted we'll get and one. settled. We'll get one. I'm not blanking. Not this time. Back end anyway. It's more likely to get a bite yeah. after dark. And so anyway, yeah. I'll think. right. I'm gonna grab my spot rod. Put a couple of spams out, mate. Let's do it. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. Bro. Suited and booted in thermals because I'm freezing. consists of some Vitalac pellets, some 15 mil crab and Vitalac boilies and the crumb you can see is just Vitalac and crab boilies literally just crushed up and I've just filled it with some crab liquid food, some hemp oil, um, just so I can get it into a nice, it's a little bit hard with a glove on, a nice ball so I can spawn the balls out, fall through the water column and it just breaks up. There's not a lot of food there for them, but there's a lot of attraction. Just to just to try and bring them down. I don't want to fill them up this time of year because it's not really big fish, well, big bait season. So I just want enough just for them to uh, home in. And it also replicates the PVA bags that I'm fishing as well. So once that breaks down, it just looks like a PVA bag. So uh, hopefully that does the trick couple of these out now so not going crazy they have seemed to uh, me and Mark were just talking earlier and we see no activity at all until we've put, put a little bit of bait out he's flicked a few bags out we started seeing a few fish showing not necessarily in the area but they were getting closer so I don't know if the baits attracting them definitely seen some activity and we're here for a while as well so I'd rather get it out now rather than later on because uh, sometimes it does take them a while to move on to the bait but there's no there's no features or anything in this pond I think it's about between six and seven foot deep or something and it's just flat um, so your bait is the feature like I say it's not summer or anything so I don't want to be going crazy but you've got to have something there oh. What I also forgot to mention is, with it being so windy, and I'm only fishing crumbed up baits, uh, with making it a ball, it'll help to stop it from drifting off. So once you've you've spawned it out, if it was all crumb, with this wind, it'd just drift off. But now I've made a nice compact ball, it'll at least get to the bottom, or the majority of it will, before it starts to break down. So you know exactly where you're spotting, your bait's gonna be within that area so it's not like you're baiting up there and it's feeding Lado's spot and all the crumbs drifting all, all over I hate these I think oh, I've not got my glove on Oh, 
So I'm just going to redo that left hand rod. Um, that was just chucked out to a showing fish like what I was going to put them on the same two spots as the others. But uh, for the night, we'll make sure that they're all right, get them bang on the money like the other two and uh, put a bit of food around them. I'm hoping this wind's going to die down a little bit though. Keeps gusting, not happy. We'll see. Right, so the night's drawing in now, that's the only thing this time of year. We ain't got a lot of light hours and it soon gets dark, but it's not all doom and gloom because uh, uh, bites tend to be like after darkness at this time of year as well, also. So we're sat on our hands. We're kettle's on. Them, aren't we? Yeah, kettle's on, bivvies are up, bed's made. We're all ready for tonight. We've only been fishing a couple of hours. I'm yeah. more than happy where I am. Yeah. So we'll not bore you too much with that detail. But Hopefully, we'll see you in on. a little while. Cameras flick back onto us, fingers crossed. <laughs> we have a couple of fish, so. I'm confident anyway. Yeah, um, well, we've not been here long, have we? No, that's we've it. We've not been here long. Happy days. Right, that's it then. Do it, do it. How are we doing this then, kettle needs to hurry up. It's running out of gas. Let's run out of gas. <laughs> Oh, she's cooking on gas now. Is that the only one you got? No, I got a full one in there. Ah, oh, he's all gone. And then GT bad boys. So, after a motionless night, the rod's gone off, and I've got me send a little one. So. I think it's one of the smaller ones in the lake, if I'm honest, but at this point, after a motionless night, I do not care. Um, the bait's working, obviously the spot that I've got's going, nothing else has really happened throughout the night. I've just had a word with, with uh, Mark this morning, and he said nothing else has happened. I don't think the boys down the end have had anything, so we'll get this one slip back. We'll, uh, whoa, lost the lights. It's windy. We are crazy fishing in this, to be honest. So we'll get it back. We'll see if we can catch another one. And next time, I'm sure it'll be a little bit bigger. But I'm happy. I've never been so happy. And I'm one up on Mark. You can't care that. You that can. was a little bait. Hey, I did not cheat. I chucked out after you. No. No. I've got to fish. I see him, him, Tom. Middle of the night, over that fence in the f stop pond. Yeah. That one under his arm, taking it back to his bed. I tell you what, I thought it were a bream. <laughs> but it was. It went off, then stopped all that uh, line. And yeah, it, no it dropped, just big drop back. Winding, I thought, no ton here. And I just saw this little swimming fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a fish, mate. It's, it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish, and it's on that baited spot. It's Sleep well. Yeah, I did. Actually. I didn't. No. But my bed's that big, mate. It's connected to everything. So it winds. Every like time you touch banging it. Banging and flattering. And, yeah. At least you're still awake. It's not good. So I'm around. tired today. So I might do some more sleeping like I did on the last one. You look about knackered. Yeah. That's me. Hanging out your ass. <laughs> I want to move, but I can't be arsed. Fucking <laughs> effort. So just having a quick minute. Just to reflect on this morning's activities, obviously we've had a monster, so I've had to have a sit down for five minutes. Um, no, the reason is um, it's that windy. Uh, well, there's two reasons really. It's that windy. I don't, I don't want to tie a bag up and flick it out into next door swim. Um, and also that was off a baited spot, and I have got two rods really close to each other, within like four foot of each other. So if one fish has visited that area, there might be another couple in there. So I don't want to spook it as of yet. It's been about a half an hour, 45 minutes since I've caught that fish. So it should be about time it's all settled again. I can get that bag tied up, get it slung back out. Um, with the light also being here now as well, I can see what I'm doing. So I absolutely hate casting in the dark. So yeah, we'll get that tied up. We'll get it sorted. Um, and hopefully we can get another one on the bank for you. And I'm going to have a fag. 
<laughs> so just sat now, just watching the water, and I've just seen two show literally tucked in the edge. Um, I think if we're honest, we, we're all fishing past them. The wind has been hacking in here that much now. A lot of people overlook these little margins, because as you can see, it's a big square. So they all come, wrap the rods up, 15, 25 wraps, and they just ping it out into the middle. They assume all the fish are going to be in the middle. I'm not going to lie, the ones we've seen have been in the middle. But after waking up this morning, I say it's been 12 hours now, whatever it's been, since we were last assessed the situation, they're in the edge. So, tie one up, get one in edge. They were literally just there. So, I'm just gonna uh, Green police are coming now because my alarms are going off. Oh, so just slip that PVA bag out down the side. We're in. This is a very windy one. Oh, she's a nice one. That one, my sir, my friend, is a slight little bit bigger than the last one. So you were. So we'll just let that rest there for a minute. We'll get the net set up. So that just shows when you just, I just literally spotted a fish just showing the edge. It was literally half a rod length out off the bank. PVA bag, it's been in half an hour. It's gone off, so I'm up. I'm happy, Mark. Happy days, mate. Happy days. I thought it was wind. I thought, oh, yeah, wind's on this. And it's went... <laughs> We're in. Just a good one. There you go, look. Everyone's doing that. Bang. Straight in the middle. Gold rings. After seeing that one showing the margins, I couldn't really ignore that. I've just got to slip the rod out within 20 minutes, half an hour. This one's just melted off a little bit bigger. Beautiful little fish. Well happy with it. It just shows if you keep your eyes peeled, you don't have to be far out. The fish are there, they're under your feet. A lot of people do fish past them. So we'll get this one back in a minute. We'll get the rod tied back up, get the bag back out in the same spot, and fingers crossed we can pick another one up. Morning, camper. Morning. Oh, look, he's happy, look. <laughs> two, two fish on the bank, and well, he's full of beans. Thing is, mate, I was, <laughs> I was stressed and pulling my hair out at Trent View. Oh, what I've said there, mate, that's just fishing. I'm just happy I've got off mark. Uh, I've got some work yeah. to do. I lost the toss, I'm 2 0 down. I nearly got blew away last night. Well, so I've got some catching up to do. I didn't have much sleep, to be honest. <laughs> What's your plans for today then? It's about 8 o'clock now, sun's up. Well, I'm thinking of a move. I'm going to hop over you, I reckon, and head down that other corner there. Yeah, they're think, moving. They're just packing up, aren't There's they? still a few fish around there. Yeah. And you, your left hand rod seems to be the one at the minute. It does. It does, so I'm just going to keep watching and see. If this weather weren't like this, I'd be, if I'd have packed up now and I'd be on, I'd be off. But all my rods are out, I'm kind of happy where I am. So I think I might stay put for now. And if you're not pulling them out, then I'll, I'll come and jump in your spot. <laughs> but I hope so, mate, I hope so. But now it's all quiet on the, on the front. Yeah, I think it's going to be the same today, isn't it, with this wind. It's not going yeah. to let off till uh, later on tonight. And tomorrow morning should be nice, last one. Yeah, <laughs> well, we've got to be off for 11, haven't we? Yeah. 
But yeah, we're going to we'll get, get it right hand to tied up. Maybe another fresh bag. Get that pinged out because just, we've just seen one show in the middle. <laughs> that was far out, mate. Well, you're going to have a go. I'm going to have a go. <laughs> right, I'll see you there. Good luck. See you in a bit. Well, it's about half nine now, and uh, I need to get some catching up. I'm 2 nil down. Uh, on this particular lake, the start fish are turning up at 10 o'clock. Uh, they don't fish till 12, but um, if I'm to get a swim that I need or want, I'm going to have to start doing it now. Adam's fast asleep, so while he's in the land of nod, I'm going to get round where I need to be and uh, hopefully catch him up, mate. 2 nil down, not a good place to be. Hopefully, uh, we'll bank a few. So, without further ado, I'm going to get this tied it up and get round there. So I think the thing to consideration in all this, it is November after all. It's getting on, it has been cold. And I think right like to uh, Come here to think that you're going to rinse it would be a little bit silly of you. So, so it's obvious it's been like that because um, the two fish that Adam's had been quite sporadic and same for the other fellows over there. So Can't be too greedy, you just need one or two, just, just one to get that ball rolling. So there's plenty of fish in here but it's not always going to be easy. So they still need to climatise itself yet. Yeah. We keep searching. We'll get one. <laughs> Looks like our Adam's on the move and all up. He's sharp this week he is. Two fish up. I can't even move on the quiet. <laughs> Come here, King Ben. Hello young man. Hey up. Are you on the move? <coughs> yeah, we've scraped a couple from here, but they're not here. Not here. Have you uh, seen out? I ain't seen out, mate, but I tell you what, it's like a different lake round there. Huh? It's like a different lake round there. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Are we going to well, get on back at wind or? I think so. It'd get on the back and chucked at middle. So what I was hoping I'd see something whilst I'm gonna look round. I just I heard something when you were round there, but I can't. Yeah, one see in the it. middle again. But say so even that from that from that bank, you just whack it up into the sky and it'll just carry the rest of the way. You'll piss it, wouldn't you? Yeah, easily. So it's a right toss up it. between there and there. Like I say, what that corner or they had them in the corner, but they've evidently gone there, haven't they? You've only had the two fish. They're more in the middle. Yeah. But well, obviously from here it's uncomfortable fishing. And like Tom said, casting more and all, just like searching the water a bit more. From over there, you're a bit more inclined to do so, aren't you? Yeah. Over here, you, 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 minimal. you're landing short and you're f***ing up and all sorts. It's hard work, isn't it? So. Yeah. So, we, well, we're a team. We've come as a team. Oh, we're a team again we're, now. We're a team. Oh, so well, we're, we're, we're two, tell you what, I'll give you that, two nil. that little Us. one that I caught this morning. I could, no, it's I don't yours. want no, not having that. Right. Not having that. I'll catch me on. Yeah. I'm going to catch one. I also I don't want us to be split up too much. Bigger than both yours put together. I don't want to make Tom's that job too difficult. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, that. If we split up both sides at lake, it's going to have triple runs. He's going to be here, there and everywhere like an endless chicken. You didn't care yesterday though, did you? Feeling good, feeling I good. I think it might be good to get on that back. I do. I think you need a good night's sleep as yeah. well after last night. <laughs> yeah. God. That was a rough one, wasn't it? Oh, we were a rough one. She were a rough one. Should we do it then? Yeah, let's go. I think so. Right, I'm going to go. On the move again, I can't wait to get on the move again. <laughs>
Now, I'll tell you what I have done seriously. The only change I have made is I've gone for single up weights. I was on little snowmen before. You're not on bags? I'm still fishing sticks. No, I'm on bags. I've had all, both my bags on bags. What solid bags? Yeah, with little um, dumbbell crab wafters. Mm. Both of them. I've got a chopper corner. I've trimmed that down. I've got two on bags, one on a, just like a leg clip with a wafter on a multi-rig. So I've just put a whiten on it, middle of bait, just for a bit of attraction. Mm. See if I can pick. I put a, a crab 15 mil wafter on last night, but I didn't like that. Not a circle one though. Right, so we're all we're all cast out now. We're in a new pitch. Um, the reason why I moved round here, it, the fish were showing in front of me, but literally it's been gusting 30 mile an hour winds over to where we were, and it does just that little bit too far, or just that uncomfortable kind of range. So I thought the best thing I can do is just go directly opposite from where I was, and just use the wind to help me pump across, which is a lot, a lot easier now. Um, to aid with the casting and stuff and to more suit the style of uh, feed I've been putting out, I have changed a couple of things with the rig. I was fishing a snowman setup with a, a 15 mil Vitalac with a 12 mil current and spice pop-up on top. Quite a bulky bait really, so it's quite so I wanted to scale it down a little bit, so I've just gone for a single uh, 12 mil pop-up, but I'm actually fishing it on the deck, I'm not fishing it popped up. Basically, it's just like a little small swivel inside that counterbalances the weight of the weight of the bait. Right, so it just settles down, basically like a wafter kind of thing. But they're the smallest baits I've got, so that's what I've gone with. So fingers crossed tonight we'll uh, we'll have a couple. It's looking quite good. Uh, Adam's all settled now. He's uh, basically kind of doing the same thing. There was a few more fish about like a little bit further out from where he was, so he's done the same thing. He's used the wind. I think he's fishing at about 23 wraps out at the minute, so he's an happy chappy as well. So looking good. Wind's settling down, although we're nice and sheltered where we are now as well, so it's all looking good. Fingers crossed for a bite or two, maybe. The rods have been out about an hour now. I've got two out on a spot and one just to the right. Um, I've seen a couple of fish show to the right even more. Um, so the beauty with a solid bag is I can tie one up, ping it out to a, a showing fish and there's a parcel of food sat there ready for a bite. I don't have to mess about trying to put loads of bait around it or anything. There's just enough there just for a fish to come along, pick that up and, and just nick a bite. So I'm gonna ping this out now, get it where I want it get the rod back down and then I'll uh, I'll explain to you then what I've been doing. So following on from this morning's two fish that I had, um, we've had a move. Mark packed up early He's had a walk around this side of the lake, come back round, he couldn't wait to tell me how uh, unbelievably different it is round here. It's a lot quieter, so the wind is on our side. Um, I've opted for a peg bang opposite to where I was before, um, watching the fish show and everything and where, where they've been revealing themselves. They are in the middle of the lake. So now I'm fishing pretty much for the same fish, but I'm more central to the pond. I've got two out on a spot, I think it's 23 wraps. Uh, and then I've got my right hand rod, which is a bit of a wanderer on a PVA bag, just milling around in the area. I'm just gonna keep flicking that about to any showing fish. So I'm happy enough. I'm hopeful that we can catch some and I'm just waiting for Mark to catch up. It's a lot easier from this side to bait up. Pop them into the sky and off they go.
Just thought I'll pepper through a bit, just to make that area a little bit broader. The main feed's been crumb, obviously, but with the upweights that I've got on, I just wanted to put a couple of bolly out there as well. So, happy days indeed. I think Adam's woke up again. Finally. <laughs> Spends most of the time asleep, that boy, totally. <laughs> But you spend most of the time with kettle on. <laughs> well, I do, don't I? Why isn't it on? <laughs> do you want a brew? Ah, I think we should. Let's have a brew. Let's have a brew. I wonder what them boys are doing over there. I don't know, mate. Great. I forget this. This bird fired up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Come in. Have a bit back. Yeah, have it back. I don't know. We've been f out with that torch for ages. It's like you, that super powerful head torch you're wearing. Well. You go lamping with it. Where's Tom? <laughs> <laughs> have some back. Have that. Oh, I don't know. What well, do you reckon in the now I'm starving? Well, I think it's about time we've got some scran on the go. We've upped it from pot noodle. We're now on sausages. Big sausages. How do you cook a sausage? Any idea? In Ridge Monkey. All right, I'll leave it to you. <laughs> well, well, we'll cook them here. Tom's Tom's base is now our cooking station. Yeah, we're going to go get all fat and grease around Tom's all baby. His, uh, There's a lot of room in there, you see. Yeah. Funny little camera in here, and that. Rats will congregate round here to me. <laughs> yeah, sausages for tea, beautiful. What, just sausages? Well, you can have a bun if, if you like. Got any sauce? I have got sauce, what but I doubt you like it. Brown. I see, you yeah. Like brown sauce. Oh, you like brown sauce? Yeah. Oh, so that's a strange combo. A what? Red Bull drinking, brown sauce eating. Yeah, I don't mind brown sauce, it's nice. You surprised me, I thought you'd be still on the Tommy K. No, it's our, our Doris yeah. and my mum. Tomato sauce galore. <laughs> you like your, you like Don't mind a bit of brown. All right then, um, I'm starving. I ain't got any sausages. I've got loads of sausages, proper butchers. Proper proper jobs. Proper Lincolnshire sausages. Oh. Do you ever had a Lincolnshire sausage in Yeah, there? I like them tomato sausages though, you've not got them, are you? Tomato sausages? Yeah. Oh, no, not like that, just normal. Cumberland. Normal, Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire. not Cumberland. Well, we're in Lincolnshire, aren't we? So it's only tradition. That's right. From my own. Oh, own county. That's from a lead. You got an insert, free insert. Right, I'm cooking. Well, Ladies. Are you chef tonight then or what? Well, we all are. Well, we've not even finished our sausage tea. And uh, left handers, uh, nice little drop back. Well done, boy. Whilst it was out there, it felt quite decent, but it's coming in quite easy now, so we'll see. Mine had a scoot about and then it just gave up, so that's quite decent what you've got on, I think. Is that on the baited spot as well? Yeah. I've got all three of them fishing pretty much on the baited spot now. Come and show me a torch for your pal. That's better. Where are you fishing? Other side? <laughs> Long way out for me, that is. A little fatty. Yeah. Well, take that, wouldn't you? Look at that cloud. There she comes. Well done, pal. I tell you what, that's bigger than yours. Don't <laughs> Is that still one point? Yeah. One point still. Yeah. Well done, mate. Well deserved.
Do you want to take the net away first and then? Net and sling. Right. Ready? That's it, mate. It's a fatty, isn't it? It's a fatty. Well, she's been eating. What are you saying? Go on, you pick her up, I'll read her off. <laughs> Do it again, look. Shaking. <laughs> Can't get a decent. You laugh on it, look. Twenty-four and a half. Yeah, twenty-four and a half. Twenty-four and a half. There you go. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's not happy. There we go. Twenty-four and a half pound of absolute. Gut <laughs> is what they're going to say about this one. I think they call these character fish, don't they, Adam? Yeah, mine were uh, prettier, but I think yours is a, a bit bigger. Yeah, well, it's it's got a right football belly on it. What well, well, get out of bed for a six pounder when you can do this? Look, <laughs> <laughs> my six pounder behaved, <laughs> it did, didn't it? He's not happy, nice he didn't one, like mate. it. Well done, well deserved. Well, we'll slip, stick this one back, uh, ping one out again. Hopefully, more to come. Left hander and all. Might have slipped from that edge. I told you we've come round as a team, look. Yeah. Absolute peach. Like Kevin Nash with that. She's off. It weren't happy, would it? I'm not hanging about. You've upset her. Well done, mate. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Well deserved. I'm off the mark. It didn't blank now, did I? You've not blanked. Didn't blank, did you I? Beat, you've beat me. Didn't blank. Well, what a, what a start to the night. Finally off the mark with that 24 and a half pounder. Absolute buzzing. Got a full, full moon out and all. It's all looking good. We can hear a few more fish out there and all. So, fingers crossed for a few more fish. What more can I say? Happy days. <laughs> Morning, pal. How are you going? Not bad at you. Not bad, not bad. Any? Lost one last night. Lost one. I thought I heard you lost one like. Massive, massive drop back. Pulled into it. It's cranking, cranking, yeah. cranking. Nothing there this time. Not there. But they were showing everywhere, weren't they? Yeah, that, that bot I had was a drop back. It's so awkward isn't it, sometimes. Yeah. I, no, it's, uh... I don't know how we haven't caught any more though, Adam. There's quite a few fish about there last night. They're all over us now, aren't they? They've moved in. Well, it was, was last night. I hadn't seen out this morning, but they say yeah. there was plenty about active, really active. And it's. Uh, they might be in them upper layers, mate. Well, well yeah, possibly. Possibly. Might, yeah. Cause they, might, they may feel safe there because no one can zig fish for them. So they're not, they're not stupid creatures, are they? No, no. Um, I think we might have had one, but Big Tom's leaving us early. Oh, if Callum's getting off, mate, he's got other, other things to do. He's got more he? important things to do than sit here and watch us blank. Well, just to summarise uh, how the sessions went, it's been your typical back end kind of session. Like I say, it's early November now, uh, changeable conditions, it's been cool, but say you can expect that. But uh, with the gale force winds that we had on that first night, that was a. Uh, that was unbelievable, really. Poor Adam Blessing holding on for dear life. I had to swear, turn my bivvy round as well. And then uh, pretty much that's the same as uh, the fishing goes back end. It can be a little bit inconsistent. You might turn up with good conditions and there's chances of catching fish. But flip side to that, it might turn out wintry and awful. So it, it's, it, it's, it's what you expect. More importantly, it's consistency that matters. It's been difficult. There's not been many people that's caught on the lake. I think one bloke had a couple of fish on before we got here. So 
and then we're the only one who's managed to pick up fish like during our stay. So as long as we're both catching, he's had a couple, a couple of small ones, not really worth it. And mine's been twice the size as his, but at least we've caught a fish. That's what that's what it's all about. I'd say that's all you can be happy about, really. That's what we come here to do. We'd love to have caught more, but we'd also love to come in September like we're supposed to. But hey ho. Uh, say our Tom's got to get off with the uh, camera now. And to be honest, I think I'd better get off as well because I've just run out of tea bags and you know you can't catch a tea, uh, cart without tea. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you next time. If any of you guys have got any suggestions or recommendations of where you want us to fish within reason, like I'm not driving to France unless you want to pay for fuel and the ferry, then drop that in a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again.